Okay, we are live. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> I just thought I would pop in here and talk a little bit about uh, the Art to Life free workshop coming up, the Art of Your Life workshop. But really, it's all around this theme of the challenge that we have as artists, why art so hard and what makes it hard and what makes it great. And for me, and I think for a lot of artists that I've worked with and people that are breaking into this, it all has to do with, with, with that we just put so much into the things we make, <laughs> you know, we, we care so much. And it, it's not just like we're making potato chips, we're making something if we're doing this properly, if we're making our art correctly and and according like to in terms of what how I think things should be made, like we got to put our total heart into it. If we do that, there's no way you can do that without at the end of it feeling a little shaky, a little like you've put too much of yourself into it, which is such a good thing to do. But it creates a kind of challenge that you put your work out there like that. And, and if you don't really love it, if it's not really totally working, the combination of it not landing good for you and the fact that you've tried this thing and it's so public and it's so visual that it, that it kind of is rough. It's hard. And that is, you know, I remember when I was um, trying to get my work, I had this gallery and I was really kind of trying to prove myself. And I would, I would work on these things so much and, and overly do it, you know, and then I would second guess myself and then I would photograph all the artwork and I'd have someone come and take all these pictures because I had to send the artwork or I'd send them photos. And then I would look at the photographs that I got and they would look a little different than the art. And then I would realize that the art wasn't as good as it could be. And so then I would go back into them and then I would have the photographer come back. And it was just this huge process, this giant, like uncomfortable effort because I didn't really like, and then I would send the work and it was okay, but I, it, you know, and so this is this is what makes it hard is that it's the commitment to making something great and you can't always land it like that. And you need to be so excited about what you're doing and so fired up. And I'd be that way but when I start, but the th process of doing it wear me down. So that became my challenge. I was literally at the point where I'm like, I'm going to stop this art making thing because this is just not fun it's too stressful and i i'm like i gotta figure out a way to do this like i love the idea but i gotta figure out a way to do this that just doesn't kill me <laughs> you know it doesn't take it out of me so um so that's what i did and uh art to life really is i started teaching and art to life and the principles and everything i teach is based on helping people do this in a way that that they can that keeps their momentum up, you know, that that gets them closer to what they really love to do. Because if we can love the work, if we enjoy it, if we think it's pretty good, it doesn't have to be like the end all, but you've, there's, there's a baseline. And there's a bunch of information out there, um, mindset information and art making information that if you don't have, it is just, it's hard. And you've got years of this uh, stuff that I did for years, literally just kind of pushing through, pushing through. It was, it was, um, it was kind of a drag. So that's what I started working on. And I started playing around with different principles and different ideas and ways of working and ways of thinking about it. I mean, literally it's the way you think about it and how you approach it, um, that makes all the difference in the world. And so that's what I started getting interested in. And the Art of Your Life workshop that's coming up, it starts um, March 4th, uh, is all about this. This workshop, and this is the thing I do every year, I do a workshop and it's really, I'm trying to uh, really create something that's valuable, standalone. And yes, it is a 
it is a warm up. It is a check out what Art to Life does. And, you know, we have the Creative Visionary Program that happens later. But this is a standalone program and it's five days. And this year I'm really putting in a lot more of the psychology of this. Um, so you can come away with something that creates more momentum for yourself. What is the art of your life, right? How do you make that kind of work? Not just like the grinding work that's never quite up. How do you make that amazing, amazing work? Because if you can make the, that kind of work, um, you have buoyancy. You are excited and you can... All kinds of possibilities happen because people can sense that energy because you're fired up about it. And that's what we want. Art making can be so good and we got to learn to leverage that so it um, so we can be, you know, we can leverage that in our in our practice and it makes such a difference. Um, so, uh, hey, it's nice to see you, uh, Shanta, uh, Shanta Julian. Nice to see you here. Um yeah, so um, it's it is just uh, all about getting to a place where you feel free in your art making. And so, how do you do that? Well, you do that with principles, ways that you can get unstuck, so you don't feel it's like driving a car. If you if you f feel like you can't go backwards, then you're really nervous if you go into a parking lot. But if you can go backwards, if you can pivot, if you can change you feel like you can drive anywhere. And that's the way we need to feel. We need to feel this freedom when we're making art. Then then their true nature can come out. But if we're worried about something that's gonna happen or overly concerned that this thing isn't gonna be as good as the other one or trying to copy something, um, it just falls totally flat. And I, I know most of you know that. You can feel it when it's you feel like it's kind of overworking or your your mind's not into it. If your thinking is right, if you're if you're fired up, then then the art um can take on uh it, it can it can move, it can shift. And that's what uh we're we're talking about. I'll be going over uh, three art making principles, design, value, and color, but it's really how these are used together. And I'll be covering this in the free workshop, in the Art of Your Life workshop. And again, that starts March 4th. Um, so there's a link in the chat, I believe, to sign up for that. Um, well, there's some great comments here. Let me see. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, great. Nice to see you here. Um, Diane, Arika. Yeah. So we do, it, it is a thing we do every year, you know, and, and, but this year you'll see it's different. We're going to be making art together, uh, doing some, um, actually getting in motion. One of the primary things that I talk about, one of the primary ideas of, of really getting this art thing so you can be free and be in it is having momentum in your practice. And that just means touching it more. You don't have to spend a lot of time. So we'll be doing some of that. I'll show you how that works during the workshop. We're going to be all making art at the same time. So just getting in motion. This is what does it. It's the actual doing of the thing that keeps you connected to the practice, that keeps you connected to yourself, that keeps you connected to feeling courageous and just free in it. At every single workshop, whenever anybody comes, and what I say to everyone when they come is, all I'm doing, you guys, is trying to figure out how to make you feel really free. Because if I do that, then you're gonna make amazing art. And it's it's this weird, it's a different perspective on art making, right? It's, it's um, we're so focused on what the thing is, the artifact of this process that we do, that that becomes the thing. But if you flip it around, and, and this is what we'll be doing in the workshop, we'll be talking a lot about mindset, how we do these things, how we think about it, how do we bring ourselves more into it? Everything is unlocked by looking within yourself. So we'll I'll be helping everyone kind of do that. And then you make art from that place and that changes the kind of art you make, literally. Like you could, you could, 
things shift so quickly and that's what's so exciting and as a, as a sort of coach person um when i only have six or seven days to work with people we're looking to really shift their work and and this is how you do it you know and that was what was so cool that's what was so amazing to me that i that i kind of discovered when i started teaching that it's like yes you need to learn color and value and these things but it's more your orientation so we'll be unpacking this um during during the art of your life workshop so i want you guys to come there's we're putting some links there in the chat um so you guys can uh, come and check it out and for those of you guys who have been to who came last year um i'm always adding to it i'm, I'm you there's more here for you this time and i'm really excited especially for those of you guys who are coming back and i hope you participate and i hope you encourage the people who haven't done this before because there's going to be people here who like a lot of them it's going to be a big deal for them to share their work to talk about it but if you guys are there and you're supporting them and you're saying things in you know that really uh that really makes a big difference so thanks in advance for that um so the theme for this workshop you know the art of your life is authenticity the art, the best art that you're going to make is going to come from within you. It's going to come out of your life experience. That's what we want to mine. And yes, we need to look at other artists and all that, but it's all about uncovering you. And that's what we'll be doing in the Art of Your Life workshop. And it's all about making the art of your life. What is going to be the art of your life? You get one life. What is it going to be? Let's get you on the track to chasing that down. Not that you maybe will never arrive, but we want that kind of enthusiasm. Like when you're on the hot pursuit of the art of your life, your energy's fired up because this is what you want. We got to get clear. We got to get fired up. That's everything. Your frequency, the energy with which you approach this is the game changer. Anyway, you guys, um, I just I just kept thinking about it. I just wanted to hop in here and share the these ideas. I'm so fired up uh, for this <clears throat> workshop coming up. And I just want, you know, if you've got friends, let them know because you know who this would be good for. This is our big, big teaching thing this year and we give it away. And I just really hope um, to impact and give this and serve a lot of people. So I will see you there. And um keep connected and I love seeing you guys here. Thanks for being here, you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, and um, I will see you in the workshop. First day is March 4th. Go ahead on the click on the link in the chat and um, I will see you there. All right.